This week we're doing Get By by Talib Kweli, produced by Kanye West, whose appearance on the remix of this track gave us one of the first tastes of Kanye West the rapper instead of just Kanye West the producer. So let's go ahead and dive into the sample for the track from the song Sinner Man by Nina Simone. And what's great about this section that Kanye chose to use is that on either side it's bookended by this very unstructured, freeform, chaotic, almost bebop uh, piano solo going on. You've got this nice steady clapping going on which makes for some great texture in the final sample, but there's not a lot of recognizable melody or chords or any sort of structure going on. And he was able to find these four bars that do have that and turn it into a very recognizable and memorable piano loop. So he took those four bars, pitched it up three semitones, chopped up each beat to have some more control over the tempo, and just looped it as follows. And that four bar loop is pretty much the foundation of the track. Kanye really let the sample speak for itself, and all that energy present in the original version really shines through into his version. Now, in addition to that piano loop, there's one other vocal riff that gets used in the intro of the song, which sounds like this. Now the drums in this track come from the drum break in the song Dog On by the band Love, which originally sounded like this. Which Kanye pitched up about two and a quarter semitones and then chopped up on each beat of the original four beats. So you end up with one, two, three, four. And by chopping up on each beat instead of say every little drum hit, what you lose in control over the drum pattern, you make up in keeping that human feel that was present in the original track, which can be a very valuable addition energy-wise to your track. So all Kanye did was rearrange those beats, because that's all he could do. So he made a four bar loop out of those four beats, and what he did was play it like this. Now while Kanye was working with the original vinyl, I was just going off of what I could find online, which didn't sound quite as good, so I had to fill out the low end a little bit, as well as add a little bit extra snap to the snare. But once I did those, the drums layered with the piano samples sounded like this. The bass in this track is a real live electric bass played by a real live bass player. And whoever they got to play it did a great job. I think the bass line really makes the track. Uh, it goes perfectly with the piano sample and the hook is sort of based around it. So props to whoever played that. But uh, just like some of these other beats where there's live bass, I of course have to bust out my bass. So now here is me playing the bass line. Later in the track, the piano sample drops out and some guitar comes in. And just like the bass line, this guitar was played by a session player. So naturally, I had to bust out my guitar and lay it down the best I could. So here it is. So that covers all the elements to this track. And I'll go ahead and play you the finished sequence version in just a minute here. But before I do, I want to remind you, as always, to head over to beatbreakdown.net, where I've got project files for this track, any tracks I've done in the past, and anything coming up in the future, all available for download in Machine, FL Studio, and now Ableton file formats. So if you use any of those programs, highly recommend checking those out. And I also want to announce that I think today I'll be launching the Beat Breakdown community forums over at the website as well. Um, just because YouTube is not a great place for discussion, 
the comment system sort of sucks. I can't even reply to half the people who post on these sometimes if their accounts are really old. That's a pain in the ass. And also just because I want to, uh, I want to launch one, so I did. Uh, what more reason do I need? So head over there, sign up, uh, start talking about these episodes, just production in general, whatever you feel like, really. But uh, there'll be a, an official sort of requests thread for this series, and there'll be like a voting system. It'll be easy to keep track of what people want, what people want to see, what people don't want. Uh, so if you have any thoughts or opinions about this show, you should go and post them over there. And those should be up now, I think, if I didn't mess it up one way or another. And also the ever popular beat critiques. I say ever popular. Uh, it started last week, but they were a lot of fun. We had a big turnout. A lot of people sent in tracks. A lot of people stayed in the chat to uh, listen, give their thoughts, whatever. And essentially, people just send me tracks to play on the stream. I gave feedback, critique, my opinion, as well as the people in the chat. You got to hear what they thought, if they liked it or didn't like it. It was a lot of fun. We had like 50 people last week between YouTube and Twitch. Um, so. If you have any interest in this series or just in production, if you have tracks and you want to get thoughts on them, uh, send them over. There's a link on the website. I'll put one in the description as well. Um, yeah, Wednesdays at 8 central is the time, and those will probably run until about 10, I guess, until I get either all the beats or we hit 10, whatever happens first. So definitely check those out. They're a lot of fun. People really liked them, so we'll keep on doing those. And that covers everything, so I will see you on the next episode of Beat Breakdown.